M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So the Radio Oddity have released their new firmware for the GD88 and looks like the DB25 as well. Uh, they've saying they've now added Talker alias. They've changed the CPS so it doesn't crash on 1080, 1920. Uh, furthermore, we have updated our default code plugs, which now work with David's MM7 DBT uh, easy programming software. And they go to say that they've added these tones uh, here besides 1750. They now have these other tones as well. Uh, after changing contact of core type private core to group core, it is now possible to change it back to private. Also, you can now use the menu, the settings menus, and they stay on the screen even when you've got a contact. The big one, I would say, um, is really talk radius, which means you don't have to have a CSV file in there that you're going to get those call signs from stations that are running talk alias you know call signs and location so that's it let's give it a go i'm on the uh i'm actually on the kydera 880 so fingers crossed that it works on that now the big thing to remember is that you have to do the firmware for the a band and the b band or the main band and the sub band because this radio has two completely separate vfos so bye for now Okay, well the firmware is available. I'll put the link in the description. It's now October 2022. So let's click here and download it. We've also got some instructions as well. On the main download page, you click GD88 and get this small window here and we're going to click firmware. And we've also got here the programming software. So I think we're going to need that as well. We've already got the driver and the new radiology CPS we're going to need that so we've downloaded all of them and there's even a manual there and some digital contacts so let's have a look first at the actual documentation on this documentation release let's have a look what we got here release notes CPS 3.3 Besides 17.5 hertz, CPS now supports, yeah, it's got the tones, uh, functionality. Now, oh, these are older firmwares. This is the one, so it's not really, I don't see a big change apart from they have said that there's talk alias. So, what we'll do, we'll extract all these files to a file that I've named GD with all the, all the apes. And then we can play with those files. So there's the firmware and the update tool, which is probably the most important one. So extract to GD888. Okay, oh, it's already done that. So we've got that one already. The first thing we'll do is run the programming software. So we'll double click. And these are the programming software. So let's run that. Click yes. Looks pretty straightforward. You should end up with the programming software for our radio. Taking a while. Finish. So there's our programming software. I've got a little shortcut up here, I've got way too much stuff. Apparently you've got to leave this closed when you're doing the firmware, but I'll just quickly show you it. There you are, it's the usual thing. We've not got the radio connected yet, but that's your latest programming software, okay? Okay, so let's double click firmware here. So there's the two bin files we need. One will be for the sub band and one will be for the main band. Okay, so we've got that. Now we need the update tool, which is here. So double click here. That's our update tool. Click yes. Go next, next, next. Finish. And then we've got our update tool. Let's have a look at that. So let's follow the upgrading firmware rules and the radio we will turn off. And I've got the all the firmware downloaded. So number one, yeah, what you need, computer, you need the lead, the leads plugged in the computer, plenty of charge in the battery, turn off the radio, put into firmware mode. So on the GD88, you hold down the upper side key, which is P2. So it's the top little button 
and then you turn on the radio. Okay, the radio has gone like IAPA it says. That's for A band and sub band. Okay. <clears throat> um, cable, P1, da da da. Yeah, I've done all that. So now we're going to open up the tool. Firmware steps. We'll close CPS. Yeah, we've closed the CPS. Done that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, status light will be red. Start the tool. Now, this is our tool here. I've shown you how to load that. Um, and then click. Let's have a look here. We want to select. Yeah, it says there device prolific serial. We've got that. Click open. Hmm, Comfort is occupied or doesn't exist. Now, do we have to select? A different COM port. Mm -hmm. COM port is occupied, doesn't exist. Okay, let's open it again and we've changed the serial port number to number two now because number one wasn't working. Plug the device in, we're in serial mode and we're now looking for serial number two. And there it is, there we've got they both look identical. Prolific serial either one of these so let's just do the top one well, it looks like it's already selected now we'll click open now we're following the instructions here it says click open and it says com port 2 okay let's move this out of the way so we can actually read it properly so then it says open API file. I'm trying to do this and see the window at the same time. Open API file. And we put it into GD88. So it's gone a bit laggy. Desktop. GD88 maybe there it is there okay firmware and we will do in the A so look we're going to do the top one A double click A which is in there at the bottom see it at the bottom there and then we're going to scroll down like so and click IA, IAP where's it gone click IAP wait until the radio finishes the update process so let's just do it okay we've clicked it and it's doing all this check some stuff <laughs> We just wait, and now when I did read the radio, although mine's a Kydera 880, it did actually say that it was a, a GD88. So, but this is a Kydera, so I am taking a risk. But it's going in there. 379 pages. We're up to about 100 so far. Once it's completed, then we'll read the next bit. But to me, I've used the radios, they're virtually the same. We're well, getting there, sorry about the boring way, but I don't want to push any F1, F2 buttons to pause this, because if I do, I might make it go wrong. I don't want to do that. So just fast forward if you're bored. So what's the main thing I don't like about the GD88? The number one thing is you can't lower the volume quite as low as you'd like it because 
you're sat in the room with your wife and you just want to have it in the background but quite a low volume so only you can really hear it you can't do that on the G on this GDA T8 you can do it on your any tone 878 no problem you can change the audio settings but on this and then the other thing is you can't get a single screen and as it says it's two VFOs if you look now we've got a single screen haven't we on the firmware update sort of window so it's you know that's to me is one of the important ones I'm not sure why that's come up just click that out right so when it's done let's see if we can scroll this up a bit it says here end page says 368 right is it done I think it says here done okay oh, well that's good news being that this is a Kydera so done so as soon as the update has finished radio TV, the radio will automatically shut down whereas the radio or TV edit will state the following on the screen status done if you have just yeah which is what it's done if you have just two VFOs so uh, right it's now time to select the second VFO long press the upper side key and it will with its corresponding firmware file as well and you have updated both VFOs so it's face long press the upper side key so should I try that see if it switches to A to B or rather oh yeah it has I, I'll do that again yeah B so we're now on B okay so now we need to let me think now how do we do it before we need to select the correct file so we go open um, I need to remember how I did the first one. Now let's go back. Da, 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 da. Let's just move this out of the way. I know I'm a bit panicky, but I've literally never done this before. So go back to the beginning. Open API file. That's what we do. Okay. So back over here. And we want to click open API file. Click that. And this time we're going to choose the B. Okay. Yeah, B. It says B there. And then you click IAP. And then it starts doing it all over again. And we're now in the B section. And it does say done. Well, the width, but the, although it says done, the, um, it's all going in, so I'm not going to do nothing because it's still saying the checks on there and the numbers are going up. So hopefully, and then what does it say at the end? Once you've done that, OAP, and it does the end. La la B. Start the actual update. IAP button. Yeah. It's doing it again. And then it says if you've updated it. As soon as the update is finished, Radio T GD8 will state the following on screen. State it's record done. Although it does actually still say that now, but okay, let's go back to my little API file here. And then we will check the firmware. And the way you do that is go check firmware version is installed. Click menu device info, then version, which we'll do in a minute. End page. Well, I can't see anything changing. It definitely says done. Um, check some seems good. Can't see anything changing. So moment of truth, turn it off and then turn it on. Still says quite dare right with well, the radio still there. Let's do the firmware version. Um, see what it says. So we'll go menu. Um, what was it again? It was menu, device info, so let's have a look. 
click menu device info there you go then select version and it says here GD88 F136 now that's an older phone that's June isn't it October 27 2022 so I think we've done it now we want to know how to activate um, how to activate talk radius what we might not know now but let's just have a quick look what you can see if I can make the radio bigger and we'll just see if we before we end the video, we're just going to have a quick look and see if we can see anything of this. But we have updated the firmware. So the panic is over. And we're just going to quickly go menu, look for something new. Zones, back, local set, backlight, LEDs, display mode, box, channel, factory. ABR repeat. Maybe it's in the in the you know in the CPS that you do all this. Parameters. Power step band. Signaling. Yes, yeah, so I think it's for another video myself. Hey, anyway, that's your firmware done. Can't see where talk radius is. How you enable that? GPS, FM radio, I mean it's got so many functions for radio. Goodbye for now, thanks for watching, 7-3, catch you on air, all the best.